Hi, this is Jonathan. Today we're going to feature amplifier from Langley that is most suited for studio sizes like mine, you know, home studio. This is the Langley Lionheart L5 Studio.
If you're new to this channel, you might just want to subscribe to this channel and press that bell for notification of future videos to follow. And be part of patrons to support this channel. I would appreciate it. I want to thank the lovely Miss Janet from Davis Guitar for passing me this amplifier for review. Now I saw this in the shop and I was quite intrigued with the size of it. You know, this is just an amp head. Now of course it can be uh, utilized with the Langley caps or any caps to, of your own choosing. But what got me was what goes on behind, you know, and what this little amp head can do. Well, let's just start with the back panel. On the uh, left hand, you have the power in, right? The power plug in, and there's an on-off switch, which is a real good touch. And then you have the fuse, and then you have a DI out, a XLR out. Now, this XLR out uh, is more than just an XLR out because it has speaker emulation in it and you are given a choice to either activate it or not to activate it so that's pretty cool and then you have a USB out you know which I think uh, is meant for you know for home recording because this can be hooked up to your interface to your computer and there is even a a option for you to reamp. So once you're hooked up to a USB, uh, your signal will be split to left and right, one with the amp sound and one with just the guitar signal. And you are given the opportunity to, this option to reamp, you know, and, um, you know, kind of tweak around your amp and then finally have a, a good take of of what you wanted you know so that's a good option to have especially for recording now for the usb you have a dry record gain so you can kind of like adjust how much is going into your interface or into your computer and then you have a reamp send and then you have the phones out and you are given two choices one from the usb out or the amplifier out and then you can kind of switch and toggle in between and you have the jack for the headphones and the level which I think is so cool. And then you have the aux in where you can plug in whatever or source of uh, input like a CD player, MP3 player. And then you have the effects loop. You have a send and return. Now you're also given the option of minus 10 dB, 0 dB or bypass the level uh, uh, altogether. And then on top you have a, a remote switch for your uh, 
the fact is it comes with a remote uh, a, a controller where you can control your drive channel as well as the reverb. And then you have uh, the speaker out where you are given 0.5 watts and a 5 watt. So you can hook this up to your cabinet, in which case I hook this up to my cap sim, uh, rather my cap clone uh, under the 5 watt um, section. So it works. Now this Langley Lionheart L5 is a single-ended Class A tube amplifier. And you have a typical layout on the front of a normal amp. Now you have the input, you have two sets of input, you have the low and high, uh, which you can kind of dictate how much signal is coming in and driving this amplifier head. And then you have the clean volume, right? And then you have a bright on and off switch, which is really nice. And then right after that, you have the drive channel. So you have the drive, how much drive you want to, uh, to have, and then you have the, the drive volume, meaning you can kind of compensate you know, adjust the clean channel and the drive channel so that you can kind of balance it or you just want the drive channel just to be a bit more louder. It's up to you. And then you have this uh, toggle switch which uh, kind of like let you detect uh, clean channel and drive if you're not using the foot switch, right? And then you have a set of three band EQ, bass, mid, and uh, treble, and then a reverb, which is a real nice sounding reverb. And then you have the tone. Now the tone more or less is like a, afterthought right after you EQ and everything you know you kind of find that you know because this is a tube amp after all and you might lose a little bit of the highs in the 2k's or you know even the 3 2k's you can kind of like compensate this with the tone and kind of like bring up a little bit more enhancement of this frequency that I just told you about so it's a good it's a good afterthought or uh, function to have on the amp and then finally you have the standby switch uh, there are a couple of LED lights to indicate whether the, the amplifier head is, is working, you know, the power is on. And then you have uh, the light here to indicate whether you're on a bright switch or the bright mode. And then here is where you can kind of like know which channel you're in, the drive channel or the clean channel. So, yeah, so this is the clean channel. And this is the drive channel. Pretty cool. And the, the thing is that this amp is, is like, I don't know how to, how to describe it. It's really nicely built. You know, very, very quaint looking, very nice tweed kind of finish over here. And then you have kind of bluish uh, leather-like yeah, uh, finish to it. And it's really compact, you know, and it's really light. In fact, this is, you know, it's just so compact. Now the amp features three ECC83 preamp tubes and one EL84 power tube. And um, sounds great, all right? So amps need to be warm up because after all, it's a, it's a tube amp. Uh, what I find is that it's a really warm sounding amp. And I always like Langley amps. I used to have a Langley uh, small little amp here. I, I forgot the model, VC30, you know, VC35 or something like that, yeah. Nice, nice tube amp, you know, and that was made in the UK. And this is also made in the UK. This is manufactured in good old England. Um, hand wired yeah according to them so it sounds really nice or what what gets me is the, um, the ability for this uh to be utilized in small home studios like mine uh with the uh xr out with the m simulation you know it it already functions as a good alternative to micing up a cabinet and stuff like that. And I've tried the XR out with the uh, speaker emulation and it sounded great. You know, I kind of like the response to it. But I just want to try this with the cap clone and it works because I'm using my own IRs. So I, I, I kind of like have my own thing figured out and it sounded good. Now the 3-band EQ is a prerequisite for most amplifiers and it's great to see them here as well as the tone control, the afterthought, you know. And I think that will give you a, a, a more options for you to kind of tailor the sound that you wanted. Now, of course, you're sharing this set of EQ with the clean sound as well as the uh, drive channel, but I think it's okay. Now, for the song section, I ran uh, my guitar through a, a Kelly 76 uh, stack um, compressor just to get everything you know nicely balanced out and then straight into the amp, there's nothing else. Um, I kind of like the clean sound. The clean sound, the clean channel is really nice, especially if I have it on the high input channel. 
Um, with the low input, you can get a really nice, uh, warm, clean sound. But with the high input, you can have a little bit more bite to it because you're putting more signal into the amplifier head. And that gives you a real nice touch. And I have not employed uh, my booster, my RC booster, because if I do that, it would enhance it even more. I just want to hear how the amp sounds like in this more or less original state. Now, the drive channel is great. Uh, you have the bite, you have the, the body, you know. And uh, yeah, it's nice. So even with, uh, with with me on the low input stage, you can get really nice um, overdrive uh, sounds for for your song if you need to track some overdrive and some double tracking of overdrive uh, guitars. But with this on the high input, you can get really nice lead sound, and nice solo sound, even without employment of a booster or anything else. So even with an overdrive unit, you don't need all that. This amp sounds great as it is, you know. Probably maybe just a little bit of a boost if you need, you know, like the boost pedal I was telling you about, and that will probably enhance the sound a little bit more and push it a little bit more. But it's a great nifty little amp, really useful. I'm really impressed with this amp. Now, if I have not have the Mesa Boogie, I will probably buy this like that, you know, because this suits the studio so well. Yeah, nice, right? So. Let me know what do you think about this amplifier and leave a comment in the comment section down below. Now the unit is available in Davis Guitar Singapore, so if you're in Singapore, just check it out and give it a go. So if you like this video, um, give me a thumbs up and join this channel. Subscribe to this channel and press that bell for notifications of future videos to follow. I'll be part of Patreons to support this channel and I would really appreciate it. I thank all my Patreons for the wonderful love, support and friendship. Thank you so much, so much guys. So in the meantime, you guys please stay safe and take care of yourself. And I'll see you soon. Ciao.